Greetings, I'm here to fix you, here to help you fix a Samsung Galaxy tablet, don't matter what version that you have, where you got a black screen and it does not turn on. Whatever you do, you hit the power button, doesn't matter what it's charged at, it refuses to turn on. So I want to help you fix this use, issue. First thing I want you to do is hold down the volume down button and the power button for 30 seconds to 40 seconds. Volume down and power and don't let go just hold it down as firmly as you can for 40 seconds and then see if that will make it work for some reason these Samsung galaxies when it gets down to low battery they're fickle and I don't know why but they're more fickle than other tablets that I've had um, they're good while they're working but when they get down powered they don't they don't uh, work properly sometimes Next thing what I want you to do is try a different power cord. If you haven't, look around your home. They use basically a USB-C, USB-C power cord. You might have to get another one on Amazon. Try a different power cord um, and try a different route. So in other words, if I've been plugging it up to a USB port to charge it for on a laptop, for example, try a different USB port or better yet, Put, hook it up to a wall outlet if you haven't done so. So as you can see here, um, hook it up to a wall outlet like this, USB to a wall outlet, and let it sit for 30 minutes and then see if that will work. A lot of times that will uh, work wonders when you do that. All right, next thing what I want you to do is clean the port. So unplug it. And then what I want you to do is get some rubbing alcohol this particular one's 91% isopropyl alcohol. And get you a little Q-tip. And let's see, have my Q-tip here somewhere. And what do I do with it? Anyways, I don't have it here. So what you're gonna do is with your Q-tip, you're gonna put a little bit of rubbing alcohol on it. And then make sure it's really dry but still has a little bit of rubbing alcohol on it. And then I want you to go around into the uh, port and rub. Let it dry. Give it about 30 minutes to dry. Plug it back in. And then tell me if that fixes your problem. Now, next thing what I want you to do is to clean the cache. To do that, you're going to go into Android Recovery. To do, to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to do the volume up button and the power button at the same time while it's powered off and don't let go. And the good news, if it comes on, then you know your screen's working. Okay, you might have to let go and do it again. Power, volume up. And then when you see a Samsung screen, let go of the power while still holding the volume up and now I know you're probably getting a little bit excited that this that you've got a screen coming on. And then what you're going to do is use the volume down to go to wipe cache partition. That's only just going to wipe out your current, uh, basically your current um, memory. And then hit the power button to confirm. All right. And then... Uh, see if that will make it turn on. It should after that. Worst case scenario, go back to this screen by hitting the volume up and power at the same time, and then scroll down to wipe data factory reset, and that'll make it like it's fresh out of the box. Remember, it'll delete all your pictures and videos and your data, so just keep that in mind, and then see if that will work. If for all else fails and it's not powering on, the last resort is called the nuclear option. And the nuclear option entails put it into a freezer. Now this is when it's not under warranty any longer. You've given up on it. You're ready to chuck it in the trash. Make sure it's powered off, of course. And go to a freezer. And keep it in there for about 15 hours. Okay. 
come back overnight. It could be over 15 hours, not a big deal. Then let it sit at room temperature for a good, for a good hour. And then try to power it back on and see if it works. And a lot of times that will fix the issue. Again, that's your last resort. Do it at your own risk. All right, thanks so much for watching and make sure you subscribe.